Hi guys. Good afternoon. Mark and Ellie Baldwin with Sunways Assisted Living Concierge. Um, we are back this week to talk about our blog recap, who um, was written this week by Allie Hathaway from Tidewell Hospice. So thank you, Allie. Um, she talked about some great um, just misconceptions and questions that come up often with hospice. And even though um, so many people will not use hospice during their lifetime, it's so important to be proactive to really understand the services. Absolutely. So um, some of the misconceptions are yeah. um, one of the misconceptions is that hospice uh, with hospice, I should say, is that the, the patient receives less care um, than an individual not under care. Right. Um, simply not true. Uh, usually you have a team um, of caregivers assigned to that patient. So you actually get a little bit more care, I would say. Yep. Absolutely. Um, as far as qualifying um, for hospice care. Uh, usually an individual needs to have a prognosis of six months or less, according to a doctor right. uh, to not, qualify. Not just the family. The doctor has to actually sign off on that. Right. Um, speaking of qualifying, um, the cost of the care related to admitting diagnosis is completely covered under insurance, whether it be Medicare or Medicaid. Um, and uh, make sure you check out the blog uh, to read more details on all three of those misconceptions. Yeah, great information this week. Thank you, Allie, and thank you, Tidewell thank Hospice. You. The link will be in the comments. Hope you guys got some value out of this. And as always, if you have other questions or things that you want us to cover in the upcoming blogs, please, share. please ping us. Um, we're here to make sure we're getting you the information. Have a great um, day and a great week, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Bye. guys.